Hola y bienvenidos a esta lección del Español 2. Estamos en, bueno, esta lección, esta lección es la lección 2.2.5. Esta lección es muy importante. En esta lección vamos a hablar de demonstrative adjectives. Now, of course, you guys know adjectives describe nouns. When we put the word demonstrative in front of the adjective, it means we're demonstrating that it's an adjective used to demonstrate which noun we're talking about. For example, if I were to say, esta grapadora, I'm saying this grapadora, not, not esa grapadora, esta grapadora. That's why at the beginning of the lesson I kept saying esta lección, is to emphasize that we're going to be talking about esta. Okay, now first, um, you've probably figured out or remembered from Spanish one that esta means this. Let me do a little bit of English real quick because a lot of people don't realize that, that this and these are the same word, it's just singular and plural in English. So this and these, so if I have this one, I have these. Okay, I don't have that one and I don't have those. That and those are also the same word, just singular and plural. This and this and these, that and those. Okay. So let's do a real quick, uh, real, sorry, real quick review of Spanish one. This and these, and that and those. Um, here, I'll just throw it up on the screen for you. This and these, este and esta is this, masculine and feminine. Este libro. Esta grapadora, um, esta camisa, este mercado, este mercado, esta grapadora, uh, perdón, esta camisa, este mercado, um, both este, you just change it, E or A for masculine or feminine. Now if you make it plural though, that E changes to an O, estos, estos mercados son fantásticos. En estos mercados hay muchas gangas. In these markets, there are a lot of good deals. En um, estas grapadoras, estas grapadoras no son nuevas. Okay. Now let's let's say we're talking about those those markets over there. We're going to say, well, let's start seeing it. Ese mercado, esa camisa, that market, that shirt. Your friend is holding a cap, you know, shopping for a cap. Ah, esa gorra es muy buena. That hat is very good. So you've got this and you've got that. That being something somebody else right by you might have in their hand or something. Esa gorra es muy buena. Esa camisa es fabulosa. Uh, ese libro, no compres ese libro. Ese libro es horrible. Ese uh, masculine, esa, feminine. That and those has the same thing happen to it as this and these. Este and esta go to estos and estas. With ese and esa, it goes to esos and esas. So some people say, hey, señor, how do I keep them? I keep getting them confused. How do I keep them straight? That este is this and ese is that. Well, one thing a lot of teachers say is this and these have T's, that and those don't. This and these have T's, that and those don't. So, este grapadora, this and these have T's, este has a T in there, that and those, ese grapadora, esa grapadora, that and those don't have T's. Okay, so that's our quick review of those. But what really matters this chapter, I'm assuming you already know that at this point, but what really matters for this chapter is we're introducing a new word. So if I say this is something I have, this, and then you have this one in your hand, that, esta grapadora, esa grapadora. But now what if I'm talking about, oh, way over there on my file cabinet, I've got a third grapadora. Now, this one, that one. Well, in English, you might say that one over there. Or over there there is. Or what I call it sometimes in classes, that there yonder. Or them there yonder. That one way over there. Okay, so este, perdón, esta, esa. Now, that one way over there we're going to call aquella, aquella. This is our new grammar thing for this chapter, is we have um, this whole new set, aquel, 
aquel libro, we have aquella, aquella camisa, we have the plural of the two, aquellos, aquellos libros, aquellos mercados, aquellos chicos, okay, those kids were over there, aquellos chicos, and the feminine, aquellas, aquellas camisas. Um, yeah, so aquel, aquella, and then the plural, aquellos, aquellas. Now some people get confused here with aquel versus aquellos because they want to call it aquello, and then the plural is aquellos, all that. No, no, it's just like el and ellos, ella and ellas. It keeps the same thing. Aquel, aquellos, aquella, aquellas. And again, if it's neuter, if you don't know what it is, aquello. So this and these, that and those, those way over there, that one way over there, aquel and aquella. Okay, here come a few practice questions. Let's do this. You fill in the blank with not just the right word, but also the, um, uh, the right form of the word. Feminine, singular, plural, uh, masculine, whatever. Okay, here we go. Okay, how would you say, I prefer... I prefer these scissors. So you've got some tijeras. Somebody's saying, hey, do you want these or those? And you would say, I prefer these. I like these. What would you say? Yo prefiero estas tijeras. Okay. Um, you try using them. They don't work very well. You want to say to somebody, no, no, I prefer those, the ones you have. I want those. How do you say, I want those scissors? Yo quiero esas tijeras. Esas tijeras. Okay. Next one. I don't like these. I don't like those. I want those scissors way over there that Paco has. I want those scissors. How do you say, I want those scissors way over there? Yo quiero aquellas tijeras. Yo quiero aquellas tijeras. Now, what if you want to say, you're talking to your friend and you want to say, hey, that guy way over there, he's really cute. That guy way over there. Blank chico es muy guapo. What would it be? Aquel chico es muy guapo. Okay. Next one. Your friend is holding up a shirt at the store. They say, do you like this shirt? What would they say? You would say, they, I'm sorry, they would say, Te gusta camisa? You like this shirt? Te gusta esta camisa? And you want to tell them, no, I don't like that shirt. No, no me gusta camisa. No, no me gusta esa camisa. I don't like that shirt. Now you want to tell them, I prefer that shirt way over there. I really like that shirt way over there. I prefer that one. Yo prefiero aquella camisa. Okay, that's your quick review. You guys, for your assignment, you've got three lines on your paper. Um, those of you that are my students, you've got three lines on your paper. What I want you to do on the three lines of the paper, first line, explain what esta is. Second line, I want you to explain what esa is. And third line, I want you to explain what aquella is. So first line, esta, second line, esa, third line, aquella. Explain what they are. We're going to talk about those in class. I got to go. We're donating blood today. Ciao.